This is not a single flower, but rather a flower head composed of many individual flowers. How many? Let's do a dissection. First, we take off this outer ring. These structures might look like petals to you, but in fact, each one of them is a single flower called the floret. They are called ray flowers, and they are composed of a ray or a ligule, which form the perianth, and the reproductive structure, in this case only a female one, is hiding in the middle with its stigma sticking out. At the very bottom, there's an ovary, which will turn into a fruit. Okay, that was 32 ray florets. Now, the middle of the flower head is composed of many tiny florets as well, in this case disc flowers. They are bisexual, having both male and female parts, and while we can clearly see the stigma sticking out, the anthers are fused into a column below the stigma, so they're not that clearly visible. Each floret has a perianth composed of five fused parts. I counted 56 disc florets, but the wind carried some away. Flower heads are typical for the family Asteraceae, alternatively also called composites. There are many plants that you're likely very familiar with that belong to this family. Sunflowers, daisies, dahlias or gallardia are just a few common examples. I want to hear from you. Did you know this about flower heads?